Hi everyone, welcome back to another predestined. I'm oh, sorry, one second. It's lighting for me. There we go. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord says. Be ye holy, for I am holy. 1 Peter 1.16 Be ye holy, for I am holy. Also Leviticus 11.44 Therefore, set yourselves apart as holy, and be holy, for I am holy. And you shall not make yourselves unclean with any of the swarming things. I'm not even reading the whole thing. I'm just reading the first sentence. I say, neither shall you defile yourselves with any creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your kingdom. I thank you for you. Ah. Thank you for allowing me to serve you. I pray you continue to increase in me, Holy Spirit and decrease my flesh all for your glory now i am hungry in jesus christ's name i pray amen guys i've been up since like five something this morning honestly the lord has been giving me this word for two days and i just be wanting to make sure i'm not responding to some of y'all foolishness like i don't even care what y'all say so <laughs> i really don't because my father is in heaven So, right, if you're supposed to be holy, how can you do that without the Holy Spirit? And if somebody houses the Holy Spirit, why do you call them so spiritual? You are not God. Certain things cannot come out by, get out, go, get out. No, certain things God can only remove himself through the Holy Spirit. So if the Holy Spirit comes to fill somebody up 24 hours in a 24-hour day, why does that bother you? Because you can't kick out the demon? Maybe God don't want you to. Maybe he wants to remove it from that person through his Holy Spirit. But they can't do that if they're not a spiritual person. Be ye holy, says the Lord. You need the Holy Spirit to be holy. Anytime you, you, you talk about being holy without the Holy Spirit, that's your flesh. That's you. And so when you say stuff like, I'm God, I'm Lord, you answer, no, 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 no. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husband just as, no. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husband. Husbands, love your wife just as Christ loved the church. God never said you was going to be my God if we got married. And I'm not, I'm not really talking to my person, but whoever this video helped, whatever. The Lord says he rebukes you for calling somebody spiritual and you see the manifested evidence of the Holy Spirit on them. That's like you blasphemy and God himself. That's like you telling God, well, I don't want you on that person. Don't feel that person when I'm talking to them. Who the hell y'all think y'all are? Let God do his job. He can't do it if everybody got a problem with it because they want it to go their way. They want to release the demon out of me. Then, no, no, no. God said, I want to do it. Stop getting upset when the Holy Spirit come fill me up while you talking to me. That's God himself. You got to check yourself at the stuff y'all get mad at too. And then y'all call yourself a pastor or an evangelist or apostle or a bishop or whatever your title, a minister, whatever your title is. And you get mad at God for moving the way he moving in other people's life. That's basically what you're doing. We are to be holy. What's the first step in being holy? Being Holy Spirit felt and led. You can't, you know, I'm not going to be like you just rebuking the Holy Spirit when he comes. So somebody, no, no, no. 
when the Lord manifests his presence, we are to stop. We are to stop speaking and let the Holy Spirit say what he need to say. Not you get mad because you trying to cast out a demon, but God is coming to remove it through the Holy Spirit or the Lord is doing his own thing. And then you get upset and you call a person spiritual. I'm sorry. Do I have magic powers or something? Can I do this stuff myself? Y'all must be think I'm a magician. This Holy Spirit has helped so many people. So you could say I'm spiritual this, I'm spiritual that. We spiritually help save your church. We spiritually help save you. My light comes into your life for a reason. I'm not just here. I have an assignment and a calling. And that's what I was doing before I met all of this new church and this family and that and this good, lovely person. And I'm still going to continue victoriously. It's not going to stop because I'm meeting a new group of people. Koraba. It's not going to stop because now the Lord is allowing you to lead me. No, sir. No, ma'am. I'm still going to be led by the Holy Spirit. And if you have a problem with that, I won't be joining your live broadcast. God wants all of the credit. The Lord, be ye holy. I'm sorry, are you the Holy Spirit? Why are you so upset when the Holy Spirit come fill me up as you're rebuking or trying to cast out this addiction? That's the problem. Everybody want the credit for that, but God is the only one that wants to do it. I'm sorry, I'm too loud. For I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore consecrate yourselves and you shall be holy. For I am holy. I can't do nothing by my might. I need the Holy Spirit. So quite frankly, thank you for confirming that I'm more spirit than flesh. Thank you for seeing that. That means when you hear this word, you know the Lord speaking through me. Ah, uh, how could you call yourself a, a, a man of God, a woman of God, and you get mad at somebody being felt by God himself because you want to do something your way? And God keep telling all of us it's going to be his way. We all going to have to wait till we all get on one accord, especially because everybody eats in this ministry. And in order for, in order for everybody to eat, here at predestined, predestined kingdom ministries, we have to be on one accord. Ah, come on, Holy Spirit. Don't tell me I'm too spiritual. Just ask God. You don't just tell the Lord you don't want my light. Okay? And He'll kindly lead me in the Holy Spirit. He's allowing me to house somewhere else. Tell him you too spirit. No, no, no. You're not God. He's going to do stuff the way he wants to do. And that's quite frankly, thank you for again. Because you know what kind of prayer I pray every day? Father, I pray you decrease my flesh and increase my Holy Spirit. So if I'm coming to your live broadcast and you see the Holy Spirit filling me up, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, I want to know why would that upset you? I understand you trying to rebuke this and rebuke that. But again, you're not the Lord God, Jesus Christ. And see, that's the problem. It's like one minute the Lord be done already spoke to y'all. And somebody come with the devil. And y'all think it's God. And then y'all go back to where God, Shapa, told y'all about. Back to where God just delivered you from in that way of thinking. But you go back because here come the devil trying to take away what God just spoke to you. I'm right standing with the Lord. He's maturing y'all. And so I'm waiting. Y'all had way too much flesh. Y'all, that wasn't God working it like that was God, but that was you. Y'all was doing all of that. Without the Holy Spirit, whoever y'all is, 
don't tell me I'm too spiritual because I pray prayers like if, if you not this spiritual, you don't need to be around me. I don't want nobody. God has planted me where he wants me to be. I ain't going to let nobody mess that up where he wants me to be, even if it look crazy. I'm going to do another video. You can't be holy without the Holy Spirit. And you can't tell the Holy Spirit not to fill you up too much. Because then you're going to be full of your flesh. Wanting, wanting. See, and that's the thing. You be wanting to be right. That's why you say stuff like that. You, you don't want to be wrong. And so you try to tell yourself that no 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 that's not god that's no you don't sit up there and say you don't want the holy spirit or this you too no 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 you let god work on somebody himself and we are the helpers we are the servants we are the creation he is the manufacturer ah uh, i pray i have a blessed day you can't be too spiritual being Holy Spirit led. Because being holy starts by you being Holy Spirit felt and led. Anybody who say you're too holy, that's the devil. God would never tell you you too holy. Because he's telling us to be holy. Or too spiritual. <laughs>